Hey guys, it's Summer Rush. I am working on three marking my M48 patent. Now the mark got up to 94.96% and I was recording for that game, but I had a really bad streak and the mark went down. So I'm basically in recovery mode. And what I wanted to do for today's video was hopefully get a bad map and try to show you how I'm gonna approach it when I'm working on three marking a tank. So we're in the map Siegfried line. This is arguably like there's Paris, there's Ansk, there's Ruinburg and there's Siegfried line. Uh, and there's like mines, you know, it's one of the worst maps in the game, basically. And the problem is a lot of medium tanks don't really have a job. So what you're forced to do if you're in a tank like an M46 Patton is you're often forced to take yourself to a position where you wouldn't really want to go in an M46 Patton. Now, on this map, I really don't think there's a lot of options. Uh, skill will typically snipe from this area here. And I think that's good. However, if you look at their team lineup, like you don't want to just do that all the time, in my opinion, um, simply because like, could you imagine if you started here every single game and they only have one light, like they have one light in this case, you're not going to get any damage from going there. So what I'd rather do is I'd rather run into an OHO and criticize other YouTubers. <laughs> what I'd rather do is I would rather get into the city. Basically, I think I'm going to have a large impact in the city. And if I'm wrong about skills positioning, forgive me, but that's that's my if i recall that's where i've seen him go plenty of times now what we're going to do is i'm going to take this position and i'm looking at the zero line so when you're on this map you have to watch to make sure you have support basically because it's super easy to get yoled here now a couple things preventing them from yoling me you know i'm a top tier medium tank and so on and basically you can come to this position you can look for shots through here and then if you look at your map you want to be watching basically this 252u e75 ts and so on because what they'll try to do is they'll try to pop through here and you know you can basically move around and shoot a bunch of people from this type of angle so what i'm going to do because there's no one here and you know there's still 30 tanks alive it's still very early on in the game i'm going to come to this location to see if i can seek a shot now sometimes people will be ready for this and they'll be pre-aiming and so you have to be careful about it and what you want to do is you can see how i'm driving outwards i'm not driving forwards because if i were to drive forwards i get shot by people where the t like there's going to be an E75. That guy would shoot me, basically. So that's why I'm not driving forward. Now, CS spots me. That was a bit surprising. Didn't expect that. Basically, I'm going to watch this angle. And I'm going to use my map to try to figure out if the CS is ready to shoot me or whatever. So I'm going to hold this. I think that's the best play given the circumstances. And, well... <laughs> the C50. He's taken a similar position, but I think it's missing all the benefits of mine. So that's an M46. Okay, miss the shot. Wild. Okay, this position would be pretty useful right now, not gonna lie. Okay, so that happens. Um, is there anywhere that I can go to help out the team or get damage? Wow. Okay, so our Leopard has left C0. Presumably that's because he wasn't getting shots, and it's like, fair enough, I'd leave that too. I think right now this position isn't useful, but I suspect this Conqueror is going to have to push in, you know, the 252 might get bored. I think it's still useful to be here, even if it's not getting me damage right now. The, you can see they've got a Skoda and a Brask who went to F1, so I guess fast, fast mediums go to the field if you wanted to fight the field. I still, I think this is a better play. I'm a top tier medium, like it just, it just makes more sense to me. So I'm going to see if we can get a shot on this Conqueror. There's no way in hell... Okay, maybe we can get a shot on this STRV. I feel like this poke is really dumb. Um, my team is pushing into a fight that we're losing. Okay, so my experience with this map is that pushing past this point is almost a death sentence. Now you can see I just spotted that charioteer. He's, I didn't know if I spotted him. Someone else might have lit him there. Regardless, he's stopped. Um, there's nothing to prevent him from pushing up except Conway and T44-100 who are moving. So I don't really think this is an issue. I just, I would be surprised if that Charioteer tries, to be honest. Now Conqueror's finally pushed in. Let's see if I can get a shot. This is going to be the first shot of the game. Okay, that's going to go in. Perfect. Now I don't think I got lit there, which is fantastic. You can see the Charioteer got spotted. And this position, you know, if we can kill this Conqueror, good. We're going to start bringing our team back. So Charioteer's pushing in. I'm going to turn around. And this is kind of why this position is so good. It's like you can affect so much with, to be honest, minimal risk. Now, oh fuck, if I'd been a bit sooner, I would've got that shot. It's not gonna happen. Now, they're pushing through the field. So, given that they're pushing through, when the enemy team is field heavy like this, it makes sense to try to push the city often, but that STRV position is not gonna allow it. And so my best play here is actually to leave and go back to A6. If you're trying to defend the field, A6 is really good as long as you control 
this portion of the city because if you don't control this portion of the city you're just going to get wrecked you're going to get spotted and ship priority and all that so what i'm going to do is i can either pop up to here or here i'm going to basically go to the in between i think that's a better call with this tank and its gun depression and we're going to do as much damage as we possibly can now i'm switching to ap obviously i care about credits and i've only got 2.4 mil so i can't really afford to run a major deficit with this tank i'm going to see if we can get a shot into this uh, amx cda and then this is where the the win is going to happen if it does in my opinion so Someone's going to kill that CD8, IMO. This guy's definitely looking. Okay, I'm going to trust that a snapshot misses, and it does. I have not turned off grass in sniper mode, which is annoying. You can see they've got two mediums to our left, so if it's a problem, I'm not going to fight these TDs. You know, I'd rather just drive over to the left and shoot the Skoda, which is going to be a lot safer. He's on the move, and he's an actual threat. So here you go. Let's see if we can get one into the back of his turret. Okay, it goes in for sure. And someone else should kill him here. Good. Now we're going to turn and look for the SU-130. You can see the scores being brought back. The SU-130 just fired. And I'm checking the kill feed to verify that it was the SU-130 and not the Conway. Okay, and now we have to figure out how to kill these boys. I think that Conway might poke. If he's going to poke, it's probably, like, I would think the best poke for him is the other side spot. Yeah, see? Other side. Um, okay. So... I think it's not worth fighting at two TDs that are waiting for me. I think what's going to happen is they're going to start to push in the city. So that STRV is going to push in. The Lanson's pushing in. Like, all this shit's pushing in. So what I can do... Just have to make sure I don't get shot by this. Okay. That hit, but it's never going to go in. I'm going to kill this one-shot Lanson, who... I don't want to get shot by him. You know, it's not worth my HP, so I'll just be safe about it. Get the kill. Good. Now I'm going to try to avoid this 252. We're going to load APCR. That's a freaking Barask who's an autoloader. He missed. Thank God. Okay. Now, this Barask is falling back. We've got the STRV still in the city. I think everyone is spotted. I'm going to have to double-check that in a sec. This Defender is waiting for me. So, with the Defender waiting for me... What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a bit of an off angle. Okay. And I'm going to have to reverse really freaking quick after. <laughs> okay. So I'll beat his reload. This is hard with my ping. Why did that hit the dirt? Accuracy. Let's see if we can snag a shot in this Barask. God. I should just take the hit and kill this 252 here. There's a L tank, probably a Lynx, to my side. Good. Did not need to heal my, load, my radio operator. Whatever. Okay. That's the Conway. Okay, he missed. We'll beat his reload. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to flank this group of players, right? To me, that's the best play for the win. I actually totally forgot I'm working on marking this tank. I think that Barask might try to YOLO me, get the kill. The Barask could probably clip me out. So the STRV is a one-shot. The SU's got a lot of HP. Good. Okay, so with that STRV dead, and I've got a full HP medium with me, I'm going to continue to try this flank. The reality is this guy's not here anymore. There's no way in hell he... Oh, see? Where is he? Oh, good. <laughs> I am so freaking lucky. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so that's the SU-130. I'm not going to poke on this SU-130. I believe their STRV's got to be in the field, and that Lynx might be coming for me too. So um, to me, I need to get out of here before I get killed by the Lynx, because what do you think that guy's doing? Do you really think he's here? No, he's coming after the one-shot, like... M46 Patton with four kills. That, that to me, makes the most sense. So I'm going to drive over here to kind of get myself away from the Lynx. It's going to keep me alive, try to get a couple more shots of damage from this game, you know, and really, it's this map, so we're doing pretty well so far. Now, the guy could appear here and kill me. It's one in four odds. Should I... I'm going to try this. Okay, so I'm a one-shot. <laughs> no, I'm not falling back. <laughs> Damage! Good. And let's just get close to this building so he can't finish me off. Good. And so this guy has to... Oh, shit. Yeah, see? I was like, he has to poke on my teammate to get the kill, and he did, which is perfect. Now, I thought the STRV would be somewhere up here or somewhere up here. He evidently isn't. 
because I'm not dead. Um, and basically, we're just going to continue to wait. Now, I think that Lynx, if he was coming this way, probably would have been lit, unless he came up on the red line. So it's possible he's in our base right now. Ah, he drowned. <laughs> that makes things easier. And this STRV, if he isn't in the field, must be AFK or, you know, <laughs> that. <laughs> Wild. All right. So, um... <laughs> incredible. That was not by any means an epic game, but it was good. And so if you're one of the people that have trouble with a map like this, like I am trying to three mark this tank and this is what games look like when you're working on three marking something and you get a shitty map like this. It's like, I got really lucky that the Barask didn't kill me in my opinion. However, I still played really well. I played strategically and you can see the taking the center on that map to me it's going to give you more opportunities more often um <laughs> unless you know the whole team sends mediums which on this server that could be the case it could be the case that the enemy team sends a lot of mediums to the city but you know it wasn't that hard to get out and defend this, the field any if they send people to the field it's very easy to get back to base and defend it, just like I did. You can see their position isn't that strong anyways when they're pushing in. Um, so, you know, if you get there early enough, it's no problem. So yeah, that was 3,292 damage, 4 kills. That's how to play Siegfried Line. It's, it's a pretty challenging map, especially in mediums. If you like this sweater and want to get one for yourself, visit my Teespring store. There should be a link in the description. And if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. And I hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.